this van that's parked here is a van that belongs to the New Testament Church of Belize. Um, the driver of the van lives right across the street and the van was parked here. We got a call maybe like a half hour ago that a cyclist had crashed into the back of the van. But our biggest concern wasn't so much for the damage to the van. Our biggest concern was we heard that the person seemed to have been badly damaged. So when we got here, you're seeing what's on the ground. Um, from what we were told, this guy was bleeding from the head and apparently badly damaged his knees. So um, we have to get an update from that. But the van was parked right there. Um, we are trying to understand how he would have been able to crash into the uh, vehicle like that because uh, he would have had enough space otherwise. At the beginning, what we heard was that he was on the ground, but by the time I got here, I was told that um, yeah, he had recovered consciousness. There was a knot on his head. He was obviously bleeding. You can see blood on the ground, and there might have been damage to his knees. I think the police were saying that he was one of the knees were badly damaged but he's been taken to the hospital so it's here because um like i said the driver lives near and what happens is um just over the holiday weekend um, it had been parked over on the other side but somebody else had run and did knocked into the back of the vehicle you know for us we have to make sure when we make a complaint to, uh, or report it to the insurance company the police will come and do their proper diligence and everything. So generally it's parked in Belama, but just for this holiday weekend, um, it was here and um, we had to await for the police to come and take pictures and make sure that that previous accident was um, properly documented and everything. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> he's parked here on, parked legally and everything, and then this other guy run, runs into it again.